Hello artist! Today I am going to be drawing a sea turtle. So, to start I'm using paper and a sharpie, but if you would like to start with pencil so that if you make any mistakes you can erase them, that is a great idea. So, the first thing I'm going to draw is a football or a lemon shape, almost at the top of my paper but not touching the top. Then I'm going to draw some lines coming out from my football or lemon shape. This is my turtle's shell. And then I'm going to add the edge of his shell. So two little lines coming out. And then I'm going to connect the end of those lines following my turtle's shell. Now I'm going to add his head. And his head's going to come out of the front of his shell curve down and then I'm going to add his mouth so here's his bottom lip I want it to come out a little bit he has an underbite and then it's going to go back to his shell and there's my turtle's head now I want to add his front fin and his back foot so his front fin helps him swim it's gonna be pretty big bring it down and curve it and then I'm gonna give him like little toes almost two little bumps and then we'll curve it back to his shell and his back foot it's kind of like a little fin or a flipper back into his shell and what does my turtle need to see out of? He needs an eye. I'm going to draw a big circle. And another circle inside of that for his pupil. And then I always like to add some highlights. And you can use your Sharpie to color his pupil black. Now we're going to add some details, like the lines on the edge of his shell. Just straight lines all the way across. And then I like to add some little spots on his body. And they don't have to be perfect. Kind of like birthmarks. And then we can't forget the top of the turtle shell. So I like to start by drawing shapes like little triangles and then make some across the top of the shell you can make some different shapes if you want but none of my shapes touch Okay, now that my turtle is done, I want to give him a place to live. So I made a sea turtle. So right now he's under the sea. Let me give him some water. And maybe some little fish. To make little fish, I like to draw a circle and then add a triangle, a circle, and add a triangle. And you can do those wherever you'd like. And I'm going to give him a bottom of his C as well. So to start, let's give it some coral. Draw the tops of some coral. about three or four tops and I'm doing different height coral. 
color those in because that's inside them, dark inside. And then I'm just going to draw a curve over the top and coming down on both sides. And over the top, coming down. And some of them might run behind the other ones. And that's okay. More right. And give them a little bit of a curve in the front. I'll do a different type of coral over here. This one is kind of like the letter Y. So we're going to draw an open letter Y. And then you can draw the inside of the letter Y and then cap it. You can try to do different letters or you can do crazy shapes that aren't letters at all. And now I think last thing I want is a little starfish friend here at the bottom. I always need help with my star, so it's always okay to get a pencil out and draw something first if you don't feel comfortable. So I like to draw my stars by doing the letter C for the starfish. So I do letter C's over and over until I have five points. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And that's my starfish friend, but I don't really like him. Good thing I used a pencil. I can get my eraser and erase and fix it. So one, two, three, four, five. I like that one better. And I'm going to curve the points now a little bit while I draw it in Sharpie. So follow the shape I made, but I give it an outline instead of tracing it. And that makes it more of a curved starfish. The last thing I need to do is end my picture, give it a bottom. So let's draw some sand. I'm going to start on one side, and it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line, but I want it to continue behind my object. So it starts and stops. Pick up my Sharpie, start, stop. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but when we get to an object, we want it to start and stop. I can end my coral. All right, friends, what do you think? I really like the way it looks, and now it is ready for color. Before I color my turtle, I want to get rid of any pencil marks, or if you drew it in pencil first, now is your chance to trace it in black marker and erase any pencil lines that get missed. Now, I am going to use crayons, and I think I want to do the water in watercolor. So I'm going to choose my colors for my entire picture. You can choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to leave everything in crayon, and the only thing that's blank is my water. Now for the next step, I'm going to paint my water with watercolor. So I take some water and I wake up the color I want to use. This time I'm going to use blue. Okay. 
And because we used crayon, the water and the crayon won't mix, so we can go right up next to the edge and even into our turtle and our background or our water a little bit, and it won't matter because the crayon will stop the watercolor from going in. Alright friends, there it is. What do you think? I hope you had fun. Bye!